Brussels La Belle, a must-visit place for a city trip. The capital of one of the smallest countries in Europe is still a trendy place to live. Installed over two wings, the Toisson d'Or wing on Avenue de la Toisson d'Or and the Crespo wing on the adjacent street is a five-star hotel with 169 rooms, including 10 suites that welcome guests in the heart of the European capital. Its name, the Sofitel Le Louise, steps away from the Avenue Louise, one of the most expensive and most luxurious main streets in Brussels, named after one of the daughters of King Leopold II. The hotel was renovated in 2008. Two architects shared the work, Etienne Bouan for the rooms and suites, then Mr. Pinto, Antoine Pinto, who took charge of all the public spaces, notably the Crystal Lounge. En fait, la, la création de l'hôtel, ou plutôt son, son décor, a été inspiré de la princesse Louise. Actually, the creation of the hotel, or rather its décor, was inspired by Princess Louise, who was the daughter of Leopold II, the King of Belgium. Princess Louise was known for being extravagant and having a lot of taste in terms of design, and she loved the color violet. That's why you see a lot of Palmer and violet behind me. It's feminine and cozy, really in line with this idea of this princess. Qui transparaît tout à fait dans la dans la lignée de la de la personnalité de cette princesse. The strong point of the Sofitel de Louise? You guessed it, it's design. A modern style with soft lines, with constant references to its history and Belgian heritage, can be found everywhere in this five-star hotel, notably in its lobby with its lace wall that makes a statement. The lace wall was created by the architect Pinto. The idea was to recall lace laces that are renowned in Belgium and make a proud statement here. If you look closely at the motif, it's inspired by an 18th century drawing that changes throughout the day according to the light that crosses this Corian wall. The lights were made by crystal maker Val Saint Lambert. The most important is obviously the one over the entrance that is pink crystal and is three meters high. There are many elements around the hotel that are reminiscent of Belgian and French patrimony that's so dear to the Sofitel brand, notably in all the hallways. We find Val Saint Lambert crystal with crystal drops that decorate each hallway, and then the crystal lounge and its carafes, a series of 32 Val Saint Lambert carafes that were specifically developed for the hotel and the crystal lounge. It should be noted that the Sofitel Le Louise is a reputed establishment for its restaurant, Crystal Lounge, and its cuisine, with the delight concept that we won't find anywhere else than in Sofitel, a menu of absolute lightness. On the menu, savory dishes with a minimal number of calories, attracting a clientele concerned about their figure while still remaining gourmet. We have a restaurant called the Crystal Lounge that is also our bar. The restaurant has about 50 places, but 80 people can comfortably sit in the bar area and at the magnificent 12-meter alabaster bar. Chef Adwin Fontaine, who has been at the head of the Crystal Lounge for a few years now, developed his own menu. But as a bonus, like in each Sofitel around the world, we find our delight dishes. They're dishes that are limited in calories, maximum 500 per meal, and each Sofitel chef must offer a starter, dish, and dessert a la carte that they have created themselves that respect the delight criteria, meaning fat-free, sugar-free, alcohol-free, and butter and cream-free. It's a cuisine that keeps the flavors and textures of each product while remaining as light as possible. Delight is now four years very active, what we do here. Because you have a lot of people, uh, they, they're businessmen and businesswomen, and they want to eat uh, every day, because every, every day we must eat. And uh, what is very important now, how you look like, uh, healthy, everything, just uh, why not we make good and um, less calorie uh, plates. And that's the reason that we start with it, and uh, it goes uh, very well. And every chef now in uh, the Sofitel, they make an, uh, a stage in Quiberon, with uh, the big chef um, uh, Pascal and he make uh, very good dishes and we go there for one week then we learn first the theory and after that also a little bit uh, practice and now uh, we do uh, we do daily
about uh, products. Uh, for example, homard uh, has less calories. When you have a fish, uh, and you, a bardelino or filet de bar, a uh, uh, turbo, uh, when you do that on the plancha without grass or without oil, and you do very slowly, then after that you have a taste natural, and that is very good for the product and also for the calorie. And that is what we do also with the legume. We do we cook the legume, uh, and we after that we make a little bit uh, salt, a little bit citron, a little bit herbs, and that gives a very nice flavor on the products. You work not with uh, creme, you work not with uh, with that kind of products. This is the same. This is fromage blanc. That is zero percent grass. This is only fromage blanc, jus de citron, sel, poivre, and a little bit fine uh, herb. At the heart of the Sofitel de Louise, there's a terrace which is overlooked by all the rooms, from the lobby to the restaurant, including the breakfast room. The pride of the Sofitel de Louise is its bar, one of the best in the capital that is regularly awarded prizes for best cocktail bar in Brussels. Between musical, artistic animations that vary every month and jazz food Fridays, it's an innovative place where one can appreciate the Vesper Martini of James Bond, but also insect cocktails, mules, refreshing cocktails on crushed ice, or a creation such as the Hashtag Terrace or the Gin Sex and Sun, as presented by the specialist of the house. I would like to present to you the Gin, Sex and Sun cocktail, created at the Sofitel. It's made of Tanqueray gin, Manzana Verde, which is an apple liqueur, a shrub of blood orange and raspberry, a house syrup that we created based on raspberry vinegar, sugar and blood orange peel. In this cocktail, we also add the juice of half a lime and top off with ginger beer, a tonic made of ginger that is alcohol free. It adds a nice spicy flavor to this cocktail. So we add five centiliters of Tanqueray gin. Two centiliters of Manzana Verde. Three centiliters of the famous blood orange and raspberry vinegar shrub. So it's thick as you can see. And then we add the juice of half a lime. all into a shaker. And add crushed ice. We will do what we call a double filtration with what we have in the shaker. Because we have blood orange, it adds a lot of pulp and it's thick, so we're going to remove as much as we can. Then we top off with ginger beer. Now we can decorate it with a chili because of the spicy ginger beer. 
And there you have it, the gin, sex, and sun. No spa on the Sofitel de Louise due to the lack of space in this palace situated in the heart of the arteries where luxury is king. But a collaboration with a reputed beauty institute among Belgian queens and princesses, an official supplier of the court is situated just across the street from the hotel. The institute in Brussels has existed for 40 years now. Before setting up the institute in Brussels, there was Nadine Salembier, who was born in Comines in France, just on the French border, who also created a beauty institute. And history was such that Nadine Salembier was very interested in cosmetics. She created a line of cosmetic products, which are, of course, used in all Nadine Salembier institutes. Pioneer in the creation of an urban spa in 1986, featuring all the facilities, the lasso therapy, balneotherapy, hydromassage bath, or the haman. The institute remains at the forefront of all treatments when it comes to beauty. The philosophy of the house, professionalism from all its staff, but notably to offer excellent facial care services. We have several featured services. Our facials are renowned. We don't just tackle the face, but many other things that are also done during an appointment, like hydrating the arms, legs, an anti-age mask for the hands. The facial really becomes a relaxing treatment where the face isn't the only thing treated. On the program, pamper yourself, rejuvenating techniques, and weight loss treatments, or even permanent makeup. And take advantage of the custom services for, and in the name of, the Nadine Salembier Beauty and Life Institute by a Belgian pharmaceutical and cosmetic laboratory. La gamme de produits existe depuis une trentaine d'années maintenant. Elle porte effectivement le nom de Nadine Salambier. C'est une The line of products has existed for 30 years now. It's indeed named after Nadine Salambier. It's a long story. She was very interested when she started her two institutes in plants. This is really the philosophy of the line natural ingredients with a mixture of science, since we mix plants and science to get quite interesting results in terms of the products. We actually have a range based on a rather special plant that few brands exploit. This plant is called the Pfafia. It's a plant of Brazilian origin, Brazilian ginseng, and we have several products based on this plant. It's a plant which has a quite surprising regenerating power, and even to regenerate the skin after a burn, for example. And so we have four products based on this extraordinary plant. The Nadine Salembier Beauty and Life Institute is also the only institute to have collaborated with the prestigious brand of Dior Cosmetics. With the Sofitel Le Louise, it's an occasion to take advantage of the complete packages that offer both night and body care. At the Sofitel Le Louise, we work with a number of partners. Notably for our spa and relaxation offer, we're in collaboration with the Beauty and Life Institute of Nadine Salembier, with a complete care package we call the Wellbeing Break, that allows our clients to stay in the hotel, have breakfast, in their room if they wish, and of course which features little in-room gifts. And then there's a two-hour spa service in the Beauty and Life Institute that is just across the street, that allows them to fully enjoy Brussels and relax. Shopping destination extraordinaire, Brussels is still attractive and it would be a great shame not to miss it as the focus of a city trip, precisely to relax in a modern and designer setting in a city that continues to be avant-garde.